Alrighty guys, as you can bring you guys another Dragon Ball Legends T.O.P. Guide video for Season 20 Walkthrough Part 1. This is the team we're going to be going with due to popular demand. A lot of you guys really wanted me to use Regeneration again because that's a really accessible team for you guys overall, right? So this is the team we will be using. Now before we head into it, make sure you guys are using your equipment slots. You can only have one opportunity to do so, and that's at the very beginning before you go on into any tiles. Now, my basically my explanation for this team is that most of my units right here are Z tier except for the Ultra Omega Shinron. Ultra Omega Shinron is going to be the exception um, for, to, for me to get him from S tier just because of the fact that he has really high key restore speed, right? He has it at 2,642. Now, one of the main reasons why his key restore speed is so high is because I have him at Friendship Rank 10. Some of my other characters are slacking a little bit, so we'll correct that later on in the, in the, um, in the season. But you can see right here, Omega goes from 2,642, but without the T.O.P. stats, it goes from 2,517. So you'll see that increase across all stats as long as you give them that friendship rank, as you can see right here. Now, there's only two ways, as far as I'm concerned, of getting your friendship rank up, and that is by doing the Let's Fight events 1 through 3 every single day with one specific character, and then by doing the story mode chapter, I think it's like something along the lines of 618, where it's a fight against Super Saiyan 3 Goku and you may have to make sure to not use skip tickets if you use skip tickets it's not going to register towards your friendship rank right so that being said let's go ahead and get right into the board all right so the first fight we will be taking on is going to be probably one of the easier fights that you can take on is this five fifth stage immediately to your left it's going to be against this setup right here all right so this is the layout we're going to be using for this first fight and bring in two reds so we can get that kid gohan out of the way immediately and then everything else should be fine i want these purples on the field that way we can go ahead and just take out the two green units that they have i, I think um for the most part you want to you have a general setup for your teams right in this can say um this case and scenario this 21 is buffing all four of those tiles around her including her own right so i kind of will keep that same formation unless the layout has some really good bonuses i'll break out of it but for the most part, it will be 21 will be in the center slot right here. Now, since this is the very first fight, I'm not exactly sure which of my units are going to attack first. I can get a general idea from my key restore speed, but you get a better idea of you actually going to the fight. So I will be showing off this first fight, but this is how we're going to do it for the layout order. So uh, Gohan's going to be attacking, right? Or we're going to be attacking Gohan first, and then we'll get Beerus out of the way because I do believe my purples will attack next. And then we'll do the same thing here, get Whis, and then Piccolo, and then Bulma, and then Shallot. Shallot always being the less threatening um, out of all of these th this group right here. All right, so the main thing I'm concerned about in showing this battle is basically the attack order of my team right here, right? So we'll see exactly. That way we can go. We can do it even better. Plan it even better from here, right? So my Omega Shenron has the highest key restore speed. He's attacking first. And then it's my blue 21. And then my purple Janemba, who isn't able to finish the kill off. Then the red Janemba. Then the green 21. And then the purple 21. Okay. So this probably will change once I do get all of my friendship rank to 10, right? Because there's some units that are slacking on it. I think Android 21 good still needs it. And then my red Janemba also still needs it. Other, other than that, I think this is still fine. We're taking a little bit of damage right here, especially on Omega Shinron. But since it's the first fight, I'm not too worried about it just yet. But still concerning nonetheless. We still need to pick up some more of this damage. And the way that we'll go ahead and keep up in terms of damage is just from the blue card generation from Android 21, right? The blue one, right? She's going to be constantly giving us blue card generation here, especially on the girls at the very least. The girls that are regeneration and um, androids and transforming warriors. So everything is pretty much a wrap right here. Janemba is going to be getting healed from this. You can see right here. This is why I love this trio or just this this whole formation right here, right? Because you can run both the Janembas, both the 21s, right in smack dab in the middle of the blue 21, and they will be getting all of the heals. I'm actually surprised this went to a rising rush. That's not the best news in the world. It honestly kind of tells me I still need some more damage, but this is still okay. All right, so coming out of that fight right there, everything went pretty smoothly, I would say, overall. So let's go ahead and see how we did right here. So 1.1 million points. I think Omega Shiron took a little bit of damage right there, but otherwise, everything turned out pretty fine. You can see the blue the, the blue gauge, or the blue card charge rate, increasing across the board right here due to Android 21 support. We got the full kill. Everything's pretty good. All right, so the next fight we're going to be taking on is, a, once again, another no-brainer right here. This 5 fifth stage against the Saiyans. I don't think this is going to be a difficult fight at all. I mean, well, you have the Yellow Freezer right here, so you do have to be concerned about him. 
So essentially, this is the layout we will be using. I'm putting Ultra Omega back on the bench, and I'm bringing Piccolo out just so we can go ahead and get that blue card. I think this should be fine. He has two greens on his team, so that's why I'm going to keep both the purples out, and I'm going to keep Tanks right here on the bench. All right, for this one, I honestly want to attack Frieza first just because he has a board-wide cover change. Right, he has a full board cover chain, so I want to go ahead and get that out of the way. And then immediately after, I want to try to see if I can kill this Roly before he actually gets his green card off, right? Because his green card is actually very annoying in which he, he cancels your, your bus and stuff like that. After that, I think we will go for Shugesh and then this um this Borgos right here. And then we'll go for Bardock and then this Raditz. All right, so that fight went absolutely beautiful. 1.1 million points off of that. And you can see literally almost no one took damage here. And we are still getting that blue card generation overall. Um, we went through the entire team, which is always a good thing right here. So pretty good. I, I would say this team, it's still lacking in damage for me at the very least. But, you know, with Janemba being able to mitigate damage, both of them actually. And then with Android 21 being able to stun someone, I feel like this is still really good. All right, so for the next stage, this is where it's going to get a little bit difficult, right? We click on this five fist stage, and it's the Gohan Goten setup alongside the Super Kaioken as well. So let's go ahead and talk about our layout. All right, so this is the layout we're going to be using for this one. It's going to be a little bit odd, right? You see me bringing out all these units right here. And the reason why I, I kind of, when I go against the stage, I really opt for the highest key resource speed units. So you can see right here, boot tanks will be coming out of the bench. I pre I think I'm just going to say boot tanks for your stages like these. And then Android 21 Blue has a high key recovery just naturally. And then obviously Ultra Omega has a really high key restore as well. So the goal here is to make sure that Goten does not super attack us. So I think in terms of attack order, we're going to go for Goten first and then Gohan because he'll fall pretty easily after Goten. And then we'll get this Kaioken Goku, then the healer, and then this guy who has a regeneration buff, and then this Trunks right here. All right, so honestly, coming out of that fight right there, everything went pretty good. We were successfully able to avoid the Goten super attack. 1.1 million points right here. Key Restore Speed is definitely the way to go on this. I think the only thing here is that Ultra Omega is taking the focus right here, which is very unfortunate, especially considering I need him alive. I need him alive and well, right? We got the full team kill. Everything went pretty good. Right, so the next fight we're going to be taking is immediately to our right. We're going to be going against this regeneration stage against Boo Tanks. All right, since he, this enemy team boasts so many yellows on there, I'm going to opt in for getting my, my purples on the bench right here, which is, it's okay. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's okay, right? We'll bring on both of the reds right here. We do have a sustained damage cut tile that we're going to give to your Ultra Omega Shenron in hopes that he actually does get some, some heals off, right? And then for the most part, we'll keep um, the rotation everywhere else. Boo tanks, I'm just praying that he doesn't take too much damage here. All right, so this is how we're going to do the attack order for this one. Bootanks first because he does generate that blue card on turn one. And then Piccolo just so we can get that imminent threat out of the way. And then I'll start targeting the Janemba. That way he doesn't do too much damage to my, my LF Piccolo. And then we'll go for this blue. And then we can finish off the yellows right here as well. All right, so this fight has been completed. We got the full kill once again, 1.2 million points. Boo Tanks was not able to get his super attack off. I think the one thing that I do have to note, though, is that it actually kind of scared me, is that Boo Tanks wasn't able to kill the other Boo Tanks with his own blue card. So thankfully, both Boo Tanks and Android 21 were able to have the key restore speed enough to go ahead and attack before him. Still looking pretty good right here overall, I would say. All right, so now for your five fist stage. Remember, you want to go for a five fist stage on the fifth fight for that bonus win streak bonus. Or I, I said that weirdly, but every fifth win you do get a big bonus. So you want to go for the most difficult stage on your fifth win, right? So that's going to lead us to right here on this fight, right? I don't think this fight's going to be too difficult either. So let's go ahead and talk about the layout. All right, so this is the layout we will be using for this fight. You can see I just put Ella Piccolo on the the bench just because he has three red units, right? He's not going to be able to do too much, as well as Omega Shinon just going to be riding the bench as well. All right, so for this one, I kind of want to just go ahead and get this Trunks out of the way as soon as possible. If I remember correctly, I do believe this Trunks also has a buff against regeneration, right? And then we'll go ahead and immediately take out Cell. I think Cell, I think we'll be able to kill him before he gets his green card off that does heal him. And then we'll go for Kakarot Goku, Kefla, and then this Cell, and then this Gotenks. The main reason why I save Gotenks for the end is because at the end of this fight, he's probably going to um, devolve or he's going to go out of his Super Saiyan 3 state into his Super Saiyan 1 state, which is going to make him a lot more weaker. All right, so that fight also went pretty good, if I do say so myself. Red Janemba is taking a little bit too much damage, and this is going to be due to the fact that I don't have him at the optimal amount of stars, right? He's only seven stars right here, 
and as you guys do know, TLP relies heavily on stars. You pretty much want all of your units at red star 2, at the very least, or higher. And due to the fact that he is not fully friendship ranked up, I do have to go ahead and work on that. Either way, I still think it was pretty successful. Still pretty easy match overall. Everyone else still looks in great shape. Alright, so the next time or the next fight, you have a couple options here, honestly, right? You can you go to either this stage right here, which I don't think is that bad either. You just got to really watch out for this Kaioken Goku and this Frieza because they both can get super arts. For this this stage, I think we're going to opt with this one just because we have a lot of purple units and he has three green units on this one. I think it's still going to be fairly easy, so it's going to be a 5 fist stage. All right, so this will be the layout we're using right here. I'm just hoping, honestly, that Red Janemba doesn't take too much damage. He's at 69% health, which does seem not bad at all, but it can start adding up once they start focusing him down. I noticed once they start getting one unit low, they all start, like, dogpiling him. So we're going to go for this layout right here. All right, so honestly, I think I want to take out the Red unit first, right? That way we can alleviate some damage off of Piccolo. And then we'll go for this EX. The EXs go down fairly easily. And then we'll go for this guy. And then this guy. And then we can start taking out the greens. Um, I, I think we'll... Let's see. We'll go for Gohan first and then Vegeta, I think. Alright, so I do have to say... Uh, dude, this team actually works so damn well together, dude. It actually works so damn well together. You can see my Janemba slowly healing up right here. 1.3 million points. We're able to get the full kill right here. And a, a special thing that really happens with this team is that you see... You see the, because the red Janema can stun someone, right? And then also the purple Janema can eat a blast card, and then the the green 21 can stun someone. So you see, so there will be a lot of times where, like, just straight up three attacks will get nullified in one turn. And that gives you the leverage that you need to just completely sail through the entire fight. So the next fight is going to be the dreaded Gohan combo right here. The Gohan Goten combo, so let's go ahead and get right into the layout. Alright, so once again, this is how we're going to be doing it for this time. I'm going to just go with all my units that have really high key restore speed. And the only reason why I'm keeping 21 on here is because she does have her ultimate. So that's going to help out at the end of the first turn. Hopefully we can just get the Gohan out of the way or something like that, right? And then obviously Bootinks will be getting his super attack as well. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Alright, so Goten will be obviously getting attacked first. And then we'll get this Gohan out of the way. And then this Goku, right? Because he generates a super attack. And then we'll get the, the healer. That way we can get the healer out of the way as well along with their debuffs. And then we'll go for this Kid Goku. And then we'll go for the Abku at the very last moment, right? Because every time you hit him, that's what activates his heals. So you kind of want to hit him at the end. It's kind of like damned if you do, damned if you don't, though. Because he also has a cover change, right? Which is very annoying. But at the very least, he's not going to be healing his, uh, his opponents or his own allies when you're hitting him. So we'll go ahead and do it like this. See how it goes. All right, so coming out of that fight, that was really, really bad. It was really rough, I'm not going to lie to you guys. We took a lot of damage, especially with our Ella Piccolo, which is really bad. 1.2 million points. Um, we definitely could have got a lot more out of that. A lot more value, right? We weren't able to get the full kill either. Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku did live. And we, although we did avoid the super attack with Goten, we did take the super attack with the Kaioken Goku. It was very unfortunate. This team was so beefy, though, I feel like. I feel like they were just so strong. They were just swole. All right, so the next fight we're going to be taking on is this fight right here. Um, a couple EX, three EX units, honestly. So I don't think this is going to be an issue for you guys to get through at all. Let's go ahead and talk about layout. All right, so this is the setup we'll be using for this one right here. I know bringing in Piccolo again seems a little bit risky, but I want, I really want him to heal up from this. I think this could be a payoff right here. 42% HP. I want to see that increase just a little bit. And we're just going to be putting Omega on the bench. Janemba will be riding the bench as well, the purple one at the very least. So let's see how we can do with this format right here. I think I'll go for the EX, or the EX unit first. Right, just because he'll go down fairly easily. And then right after that, I think I'll take out this Goku as well. I also think he'll go down fairly easily. And then once again, we'll go for Tapion and then a purple unit. And then we will go for, for this guy and then the Super Baby 2. I, that might be a mistake. This might be a mistake going for Baby at the very end just because he is healing. But the, I think we should still be fine overall. Like I said, it's more of a cooldown fight right here. Right, definitely on the, more on the easy side. 1.3 million. I think Piccolo was able to get a little bit of healing off right there. Got the full kill. Not really any issues there at all. All right, so the next fight we will be taking on. It's not this five is stage, surprisingly. Even though this is a little bit of an easy stage, you're going to be, like, limiting yourself, right? Because if you look at the, the board right here, you essentially, you want to come up because you're going to get on your nine win streak, right? You're going to, this will be your ninth fight, and then you want to be right here for your fifth fight, or for your tenth fight is what I meant to say, right? You want to increase your points, and if you go to this stage right here, no matter how easy it is, you're going to be cucking yourself out of that big bonus. 
So that being said, we will be entering this fight, which is going to be annoying because it's Goten. But at the very least, this stage does not have the blue Gohan on it. So this is the layout we're going to be using for this stage right here. A lot of units pretty much that are lower ends on the HP, so hopefully we don't take too much damage right here. My thinking behind this is that Bootinks can snipe the red unit, that Kid Goku at the very beginning, and then Ultra Omega can hopefully get his ultimate off. He's only 2% off. I'm not too sure how much percentage they get off Rip, but he will be able to attack before Goten can attack, and so he will ultimate attack him, getting him out of the way, and then we really have to be worried about the Kaioken Goku. Alright, so first off is going to be this kid Goku, and then Goten, and then we'll get this guy out of here, this guy, this guy, and then this guy. I think, hopefully this should be fine. It's only a 4 fist stage, so it should be a little bit easier than the other ones that we've gone against. Alright, so coming out of the fight, once again, I think it went pretty well. 1.2 million. The only thing being is that my LF Piccolo just keeps taking all of the aggro, which is very, very unfortunate. He continuously is lowering in HP. Although Ultra Omega was able to heal um, up a bit right there, we were able to avoid all super attacks. Everything kind of went according to plan. The only thing is just being that I only got hit a couple times, and all of those hits were on the LF Piccolo. Alright, so for the next fight we will be taking is this 5 fist stage for our 10th fight. Remember, this is for the big bonus. Once again, I don't think this is going to be a difficult fight at all. I mean, it's girls team. They're all buffing each other, I'm pretty sure. But they have an EX unit on there. I'm not too worried about these units overall. So this is the layout we will be using for this one. I am going to be sacrificing on a little bit of points just because I'm bringing Ultra Omega in here for the, for the S tier Dom boost instead of the Z tier. But I think this will still be fine. All right, so first thing I want to do is pretty much get this Android 21 out of the way, right? Because she is going to be able to flashbang me or do the, the Sword of Flare and stun me. That's on the second turn, though. So if we can kill her before she gets that off, I think that's pretty huge. And then immediately after that, I want to go ahead and end the support. I think by that time, my, my units will rotate. Omega is going to be attacking first, so we'll get this EX unit out of the way, which will be a pretty easy kill, in my opinion. Then we can get my, and then we can get, do this right here. I think this should work out perfectly. All right, so coming out of the fight... Um, I think we did decent. Two points, um, two point million, right? Not bad at all. Ultra Omega did pretty good right here. Um, everyone's coming up on a, a super attack pretty much. I think we wasted a super attack with the green 21 as well as the purple Janemba. That's fine. Uh, once again, like I said before, it's definitely one of those easier fights. All right, so for the next fight, we're going to be taking on right here. You can either go for the left side or for the right. This left side has Gohan at three stars, that blue Gohan. But if you go look at the right, the Gohan is only at two stars. So I think I'm going to go for this one just because I, I feel like it'll be easier to penetrate through him here rather than on the other stage. So let's go and talk about layout bonus. All right, so I think I'm going to do it like this. I know usually, listen, I know um, typically I like to go ahead and just have Piccolo on these kinds of fights because of his highest key restore speed. But I feel like he's going to die. And be real honest with you, he's only at 37 HP. I want to go ahead and preserve him just in case I need him for the second half of the battle at the very least. I think he has at least two fights in him still. So we'll see what we can do right here. These guys are pretty healthy. I think this will be fine. So once again, I always go for Goten first, right? Goten, and then we'll go Gohan, Kaoken, Goku. And then we'll go for this guy who has the buff against regeneration. And then this this cooler right here, this cooler Goku. And then the, the Birdku, who's always just an issue overall. All right, so that fight actually went pretty perfectly. I think the only notable thing here is that they started attacking Bootanks. So now, now I'm actually very afraid for Bootanks' life because that Bootanks is such a critical part of that fight right there because he does so much damage to Blue Gohan, right? And so that, that that is pretty scary. He took a couple hits right there. He was able to heal it up. Omega took a couple hits as well. Everyone else looking really healthy and got the full kill right here, avoided every single super attack um, that they could offer. All right, so for the next fight we're going to be doing is immediately to the left of us, and it's going to be against this this weird team right here. Look at the EXs. There's four EXs on this team. I say if you see EXs, that's pretty much a good sign overall, right, because they will go down easily. I promise you guys. Let's go ahead and go into our layout. All right, so for this one, it's pretty much an easy layout right here. I'm going to bring in both of my purples, both of my reds, and then obviously all 321s are going to be coming along for the show. Uh, we'll see how this goes. You can see right here, I actually did take advantage of the, the layout bonuses where my strike units are up here in the strike slots so they can get a little bit of bonus damage off right here. All right, so basically this one's going to be an easy layout. I think our attack order at the very least, I think my reds are going to easily be able to get out this yellow unit, the extreme yellow unit, by the way. And then our purples are towards the back end of things, so we'll go ahead and take out Frieza. And then we'll go for Chilled, get this Buhan. He's going to be a little bit annoying because he has the bubble shield, but that's fine. Then we'll get Janemba and then Whis. The reason why I target Whis last is because he specifically targets, or he buffs Beerus, right? But he's not going to have a Beerus to buff in this situation after he's the first unit dead. 
All right, easy peasy coming out of that fight right there as well. 1.5 million points. We actually did really well for ourselves. Omega Sherman still healing up too. And I got the full kill right there, like I said before. These EX units, when you see the EX units, man, that's a good sign. It is a really good sign. All right, so the next fight we're going to be taking is this Ginyu, or well, it's kind of like Ginyu Force alongside the androids from the Super 13 movie. Uh, once again, what did I tell you guys before? EX units are always a good sign. We're going to go ahead and take on this fight for the last stage of the video. So this is the layout we're going to be using for this fight. Got all my Z tier units on board right here. I did put 21 on the bench right here just because of the fact that I want, I know Janemba might be able to get a super attack here if he gets hit with the blast attack, right? I, I want to take this opportunity since he does have two purples on his team. I want to try to take this opportunity to kind of heal with uh, with LF Piccolo right here, right? Since he's only at 37% HP, we're going to be using Boo Tanks to kind of just burst down through my opponent. So this is what we'll be using. We see them with high Q restore speed as well. All right, so for the attack order, I do want to target this guy first. Remember, this Android 13, if every single time an allied Android is defeated, he gets buffs. So you don't want to build them up for free, right? Because there are three Androids on this team. So I want to try to take them out first with Boo Tanks and 21, given their high Q restore speed. And then we'll go for this guy right here because he does pose a threat to my blues. And then after that, I think we will go for Birder and then for Captain Ginyu. And then we shall go for Raccoon and then this purple uh, super or this purple. What is that? 15 or 14? I'm not too sure. We'll go like this, though. This is a good. All right. So coming out of that fight, unfortunately, Piccolo still took damage. I <laughs> it, it's so annoying, bro. Once one of your units gets pretty low, it's like the AI like targets that and keeps track of that so you can see right here my piccolo didn't really get any healing off he's i think he's the only one that took damage right there but we still got the full kill still pretty easy fight overall i still recommend going right here and that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this um, for part one of top season 20 the first walkthrough right i know i'm a little bit late on this you can see right here i have one energy left over and so i do apologize about that i had some stuff come up unfortunately but let's see where we ended off. Even without that last little TP right here, we're still ranked in the 1,748. This team is pretty solid overall. I would, I do have to say the Horny Trinity with all the 21s is really good. And keep in mind, your team can be a lot better than mine just from Friendship Rank alone. And also because I have not grinded this 21s event, the, the actual battle gauntlet for her. I only have her at Zenkai 3. So obviously she still has more room to grow overall, right? The only thing that I would say that I'm disappointed in here is this Ella Pick maybe it's because i have him at the bare minimum like at seven stars right and he's just taking a lot of damage right here i do have him at friendship rank 10 by the way right he's just taking a little bit too much and i think he works best with the healer in my own personal opinion i think he does need a healer alongside him unfortunately i did not have enough room to bring in another healer especially because i didn't want to dip into the s tier for it so that being said let me know how things are going for you guys and what teams you guys are bringing hopefully this is helping you guys just a little bit right and so i'll see you guys in part two so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one later